how's it going? It's all Raptor Jesus here with another playthrough of Red Dead Redemption, which I hope you guys have been liking these playthroughs. If you want to see more of this content, uh, please subscribe and hit that little notification bell. It all helps feed the algorithm. You know what I mean? Seriously, I'm glad you guys are watching uh, all these little playthroughs I do. I think this is a really fun game. I really like Red Dead too. It's, I think it's well made, well written. And of course I like the survival aspect. That's sort of like my favorite play style is having to survive out in the frontier and such. You know, it makes food more important, you know, and that actually does something besides look pretty there. It's usually my big gripe in most games. It, it isn't, it's just like a useless buff usually. Uh, old back to looting here in uh, Black Bell's spot. Uh, can't just let this, uh, all this useful loot go to waste. Like, they're not going to take it to him to hell, so. <laughs> No way no low down bounty hunter has a family worth giving anything to anyway. Well this guy's already half buried. That's pretty convenient. <laughs> should try to get my bow. Where are my horses? Here. Uh, we'll, we'll go inside and loot a little bit, I think. Smoke a little cigar, you know. Just to chill the nerves. Maybe see what Black Bell left behind up here. I think I deserve a little bit of rum, don't you think, fellas? There we go. Some biscuits, those are always handy. Not much in there, I guess. <clears throat> there we go, some ciggies. cigarette card now. Those always need to collect. Oh, there's another card right there. Uh, that's one of the gunslinger ones. <coughs> Pardon me, fellows. I need some rum in real life. <laughs> I thought that I could grab that other can, whatever that was, but I guess not. Just some biscuits in there. any guys out here <clears throat> let's get my bow off my horse and get one of them birds 
That would be good to bring back to camp, I think. If I don't flub it, you know. Reading this Louis Lamore book right now called Last the Breed. <clears throat> Last the Breed. And it's about this uh, Native American test pilot in the Cold War era that gets kidnapped by the Soviets, and so he has to survive out in Siberia after he escapes from their prison. It's pretty good. I like reading those kinds of books where it's like man against the wilderness. Get one of them turtles too. That'll be some good eating. William Moore usually writes westerns, but he's got a few books that are different genres. He's a pretty good author. He wrote a lot of books. That's a that's a big boy snapping turtle. Those alligator snapping turtles to see. Oh, Vicious little right, fellows boy. right there. Try to keep out of this one's way as it's trudging through the mud. <laughs> Let's see where's my old camp? That's right there. Head back home with all this loot and such. I decided to go for a little bit longer episodes from now on. Hey Claire, we got dangerous foreigner here. Oh, uh, see, should I help this old lady? Uh, see. You know, it's yeah. one of the kind of things yeah. with the frontier. You will be distracted from your goal. It's sort of like one of those unwritten rules. You know what I mean, fellas? I can't fit this old lady on my horse anyway. I got the snapping turtle and such. Sometimes you got to make a choice, and choice is some turtle steel. Much more useful than a yapping lady that's asking 20 yeah. questions every time you do something. Ugh, I don't have a headache for that right now, fellas. Track back home. I gotta pay that old five dollar bounty at some point. <laughs> yeah. Those bounty hunters get annoying after a while. Kind of hard not to catch their attention if you want to go into town and such. Uh, take right, it boy. easy on the old horse so he can catch up his breath, you know. Yeah, good boy. Our old 
turtle on its back is weighing him down. I'm sure. Just be wandering around here, friend. Oh yeah. Not a thing happens around here without an Adrisco saying so. Understand me? You guys should have been quicker on the draw. Metal Arthur Morgan on a bad day. Too bad desert is just real dry. Some green here and there, shrub land, you know. Ah. So uh, hopefully the fans I have on don't aren't too loud. It's just really hot today. It's like 109 degrees, man. dead tired. I think we can take it a little bit easy now. Oh, Mount deserves a bit of rest, I reckon. Get some stew. What do you think, fellas? <clears throat> Forgive me, Tilly. These feisty women. These are the ones you don't really want to cross, you know. Old Karen. She's pretty handy with a rifle. Good evening, Arthur. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. I'm getting to it, fellow G's. That's all I got for you. It all counts, Pearson. Very good. We were getting low. Oh, it's a 
go keep those feller feathers and that fat. Morgan. It'll be useful for crafting some cool bullets and arrows and such. Sitting at this old campfire, taking a little bit of a rest, you know. Keep forgetting to put my hat back on. Hopefully, I remember when. <laughs> For the next episode, we'll see, fellas. <laughs> It's going to take a little bit of a break, you know, after all that. It was a bit of a gun battle and hunting and such and looting all those bodies. Some tough work, fellas, you know what I mean? How you get on out there, Mr. Morgan? Fine. Mm. What's it like? A decent place. There's food to eat, fools to rob. We'll be okay. As long as we don't linger too long. We sent Micah and Lenny out scouting west to see what they could find. Good. And we're gonna need to make a decent bit of money if we're gonna get out of this hole. Oh, I know. Let's see what I can get up to. Good evening, Arthur. Hello, lady. You feeling more settled here now? Yes, this is a nice spot. Well, it'll do us for now. Okay. Guess that's all they got to say, fellas. They're relaxing. I'm out gallivanting around there. I have to oh, sew up all that stuff and clean you. up and such. You okay, Mary Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay. See, sometimes I actually do some little criminal antics. Get some coffee, I think. A good time. Calm the nerves a bit, you know what I mean, fellas? Good time to antagonize Kieran. Don't mess with me, please. Comfortable there? I can't even lie down, it's agony. <laughs> Ah, oh, stop moaning. All right, fellas, have a good night, all right? Hey, yeah, fellas, that's the rest of my video. I hope you're really enjoying this playthrough of Red Dead Redemption 2. I think it's such an excellent game, and I hope you guys are enjoying the story as much as I am. And I hope you keep your... Uh, Shield Armstrong and you have a good game next time because it's really important to me that you guys are having fun in this dreary, dreary world we live in.